channel. Today's video is going to be about which is the better pet, cockatiel or budgies. Uh, now today we have uh, Blossom with me and Kiwi on top of my hijab, but we're gonna continue with the video. I do want to get a few of the basic information out there for you guys. Both species are very, very beautiful, at least in my opinion. I own two budgies and two cockatiels at the moment. Um, I've had more budgies in the past. Um, both of these species come from Australia. Uh, the climate there is very dry and very arid. They are nomadic, meaning that they will fly from place to place to find food, water, and even even shelter. One other thing I want to mention is that budgies are first in popularity and cockatiels are second in popularity. So now let's talk about the few things that you must know before getting a budgie or a cockatiel and hopefully uh, with this video I could help you guys decide on which one is the better pet for you. Before getting any of the species that you want you would need a cage now for me personally i believe bigger is better and i think some people have the assumption that <clears throat> Because budgies, sorry I scared you, because budgies are smaller, you would need a smaller cage, but I completely disagree with that. They need a large cage and they need to be able to fly around in their cage. Um, that's my genuine opinion on it. So there is an upfront cost with that. Um, I have the Montana cage, I'll have a picture um, anywhere around here and hopefully you guys could have an image of what my cage looks like. Uh, when picking either of these species you will also need toys and perches I find that variations in toys and perches are very helpful but budgies or any toys for budgies they tend to be a bit more cheaper in cost but for me I really don't care about the toy size per se as long as it's softer wood I find that my budgies um, they don't really like hardwood um, so anything like balsa um, a vine even like stuff like pine my budgies don't really like I find that my cockatiels might be playing with um, pine but it's not really often they don't really prefer it so I think for both species if you are gonna pick toys it should be softer it doesn't really matter if it's a big toy or a smaller toy as long as the toy is I guess shreddable um, they seem to really favor that. Now, I want to talk about the prices of both of these species, wherever, whatever they're doing. Um, it varies, and I live in Canada, so I'm going to just go based on the prices in my area. Uh, budgies tend to run a bit cheaper, actually way cheaper. They're around $30. Now, things get a bit difficult when you're putting English budgies into the picture. Um, I find, yeah. Blossom just flew. I find that English budgies tend to be around $60. I have seen them go as much as $200. Now, again, I'm in Canada, right? So be mindful of that. Now, I find that cockatiels, they tend to be $100 plus. So I guess some people might not have the initial money to actually pay for a cockatiel. Um, I had juveniles, so... Uh, Blossom with 120, Muffin with 160, but please be mindful that I actually had them as juveniles, so I actually had to get formula. Formula was expensive. In total, I would say on average, they both costed me around $200, considering I had to pay so much formula for them. So I do want to talk about the temperament of both of these beautiful species. Now, I find that budgies tend to be a bit more chill. I'm talking about temperament. Please don't confuse that with affection. I find that with cockatiels, it might be because I have females, but I think a lot of people who do have female cockatiels, they will agree with me. They are more likely to be a bit more on the moody side. Now, I think that's with any female parrots, but yeah. I find that female cockatiels are more likely to hiss at you. Even if it's nothing scary, they're more likely to be very... Um, hissy or very scared and it's really nothing like you might see my hand moving back and forth and I'm really not doing anything to my bird but 
Blossom might just be a bit anxious. So pretty much their temperament could vary, but I do find that budgies, they tend to be a bit more on the chiller side. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about taming both of these species. I personally find taming budgies a bit more harder. Now there are a few reasons to that. The main reason is because Budgies are very quick when it comes to flying. They actually kind of have like this zoom energy as I like to call it. It's kind of like a whoosh when they're flying. So I find that especially if you are a beginner and you are trying to tame your budgie, they might be flying and it might even actually sometimes look like they're frantically flying, which can happen if they're very new to the environment. But I find that because of that very reason, it might be a tad bit harder in the very beginning to actually tame them. Just a little bit. Now, on the other side, I find that cockatiels, they are easier to tame because they're not very... I'm, I'm not trying to say they're not active, but they're not as high energy. So, they tend to stay at one place. So, it is easier if you are trying to teach them how to step up, etc. Now, I want to touch upon another topic and that is the noise level. Personally, for me, I do not believe that bug species are allowed at all. Now, if you have been watching up, up until now, you will see Kiwi tends to have a more chattering noise, whereas... I mean, Blossom, she's pretty quiet. Now, this could also mean that Blossom is a bit more on the quiet side because she is a female. Male cockatiels tend to whistle. Uh, now, on the other side, um, budgies, they tend to have a more chirping sound and it tends to be throughout the whole day. Now that we have mentioned the noise level, I think it's also very important that we talk about whether they could imitate human speech. Now, to be completely honest, I'm not too crazy about human speech. I don't really get it. I don't necessarily find it cute, but I could see why some people might find it very appealing. Budgies, they're very good at it. I personally think that budgies, they tend to imitate noise specifically human speech quite well now on the other hand cockatiels they can but i do find that cockatiels are a bit better when it comes to imitating so male cockatiels specifically they're very good at whistling and they tend to imitate um any kind of ringtones doorbell stuff like that they tend to be really good at it so if you want a bird that could you know speak human language Budgies might be a better option for you. Imagine I filmed this video and my hijab looks so bad. I'm gonna be so annoyed, but I'm still gonna upload this video even though my image looks like a wreck, but yeah. The one thing I want to talk about is affection. Which species is more affectionate? Now, personally, some people may agree, some people may not. I've seen many videos also on YouTube where they have shown very affectionate budgies, but I think the majority will agree that cockatiels, although they're very affectionate, meaning that they step up and stuff like that, as for head scratches and stuff, no. No, you're not really gonna get a budgie that's gonna really enjoy head scratches, maybe even kisses. Let's see if Kiwi will tolerate it. Okay, she doesn't mind me touching. See, as you can see, she won't even allow me to get near her head. They just don't like it. I could kiss her, but then she will nibble my nose. This is just her way of showing, hey, I don't really appreciate being that close in your face. If affection is something very important to you, cockatiel might be a bit the better choice for you. Now, that could be sometimes a downside for some people because cockatiels also could be very, very clingy. Uh, which then brings me to my other topic. Can they be single pets? My personal opinion on that is please don't have a single budgie. No, I find that some people who have a single cockatiel, they, it's doable. Both of them are actually doable, but I would suggest and even advocate against it. Simply because one, budgies tend to be very, very social, right? So actually, throughout this whole video, the only reason why she's chirping so loud and trying to sabotage my video is because she's actually screaming for Edward but if I were to bring Edward here she's not gonna really enjoy being on my hand at least for this long so they are very social beings I find that it's better to have multiple budgies but if you are concerned about taming them what you could do is get a budgie initially tame it you know it might take a couple of weeks but after that you could get your second one I think that is the best option now 
cockatiels on the other hand they can be single pets but i would actually suggest them for people who are at home workers or if you are elderly because they tend to be at home all the time now if you want a single pet i think uh this one's hard for me to pick one i think the discussion is up to you guys um my general consensus on this is that budgies tend to be very social and cockatiels tend to be very clingy so if you want a single pet but you really want a cockatiel it is doable but you should probably be at home so you can spend a lot of time with them so maybe for students or you know working people it might not be the best option when getting either species you also want to consider a lifespan now I know there's different numbers out there but I'm gonna go with the numbers that I have always been giving people Budgies tend to live 5 to 8 years. Now I've heard people say they live well over 10, which is true, but in most cases they don't. Now there is a sad story behind it or a sad reasoning should I say. It's because of their mutations. They tend to come in various colors and there tends to be a lot of issues with that um, and there's also a lot of inbreeding so unfortunately a lot of budgies are prone to tumors and cancers like you guys have known my bird limon and snowy actually passed away because of those reasons so a lot of mutations within budgies and um, they tend to come with a lot of health issues um, and another reason is because they just aren't given the best diet i think because they are cheaper in cost people buy them but they just give them seeds and therefore they don't really live very long now cockatiels lifespan could be i would say 15 to 20 years but i have heard many cases of them living over 20. if we are going to talk about mutations and different colors you might want to consider budgies the reason being is that budgies Oh my god, there's a huge selection, and I mean huge, when it comes to color. Um, you see budgies, oh, let's see, hopefully my hijab is looking somewhat decent in these videos. Now, um, budgies, they tend to come in green, blue, yellow, white, gray. I've even heard rare mutations where they come in black or violet. Um, I just haven't seen red or orange, but... Just about every other color uh, there is uh, if you want a budgie. Now, cockatiels on the other hand, you tend to see white, variations of gray, cinnamon, and yellow. Now, I don't mind that. I personally think those colors are beautiful. But obviously, if you want a blue bird, you might want to be going with a budgie. The other thing is with budgies, you could easily, I mean, I could help you with that. You could send me a DM on Instagram, but you could easily identify whether you have a female or a male. Even with various mutations, that is not the same with cockatiels. With cockatiels, I would really advocate for um, a DNA test. It's easy. They get blood from the feather. It sounds horrid, but you could take it to your vet. They just pull out one feather with fresh blood, and then they send that to a lab, and then you can know the gender of your bird. Now, there are a few things that people look at um, to kind of give you an estimate whether you have a female or a male, but... To be honest, it's very hard unless you have a normal cockatiel. Um, and then it becomes easy, I guess. Uh, in the wild, you could easily differentiate the genders, but in captivity with various mutations, you can't. So I guess with normals, you can, but pretty much everything else, you really can't. DNA sexting would be the be better option for you guys. Before I end this video, I do want to talk about the few unique uh, things that cockatiels come with. And one of that is an erectile crest that you guys see over here. Um, it will determine its emotional state. Now, if they're scared and stuff, I could do a video on that for you guys. But today's video, it will be too long for me to explain that in detail. Another thing is to consider is cockatiels tend to produce something called dust. Now, I've heard many people call it different things, but I'm just going to make it simple and just call it dust. So, when they're preening or shaking their feathers, they have all these dust come out of their bodies. Now, this means two things. One, sorry, I'm very sorry. If you have a black t-shirt, you're going to see dust. Two, you're going to need to shower them a bit more often. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have allergies, 
yeah you might want to consider that i would suggest that you kind of meet with other cockatiels i don't know how that would work to be honest in my area and my location we can't really do that and we don't have a sanctuaries and stuff but maybe if you have a friend you could ask your friend you know can i you know be around your cockatiel see how that works out for me and stuff because of you know if you have a unique situation a health situation and hopefully they're kind enough to help you um but yeah that's the only one thing they just produce a bit more dust both of these species are very beautiful honestly i'm gonna leave the question to you guys which is the better pet my personal opinion is both of them suit my lifestyle i think both of them are great options but i do you know understand that some people may have specific reasonings into why they think one species is better than the other species hopefully you guys enjoyed oh i have poop can i say that on youtube anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the company of kiwi and blossom and thank you to both of them being a part of this video and being very 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 good girls i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching guys bye bye